Layer by layer, compact red clay begins to expose mixed soil and a burial shaft up on Boot Hill. USF research teams have been working for three months to recover the remains of boys buried at the cemetery at the now closed Dozier School for Boys. Using mechanical excavation and detailed archeological methods, they have uncovered 55 burials, 24 more than previously documented. What you see behind me in this uh, excavated area is that we have small groups of people working in different burials and excavating them. We use heavy equipment to strip the top um, layer of soil and it's really about the top you know, 25 to 30 centimeters uh, to get it started. And what becomes very apparent is the outline in the soil of where the burial is located. The fieldwork is the culmination of two years of extensive research conducted by the USF anthropology team, including graduate students and numerous law enforcement volunteers. And we spent about a year doing GPR throughout the area, throughout other parts of the school as well, and archival research and talking to former employees and men that were sent here as children and their families, as well as the families of children that were purportedly buried here. Records indicated 31 boys were buried on Boot Hill. Research methods utilized by the team have discovered far more. To reach the burials, the excavator moves the ground in stages, guided by the map created by measurements and GPR analysis. A lot of times we take off the overburden in a, a big chunk and then we slow down and we do things in four inch blocks and then we're down to a two inch block and then we're down to just cleaning off and just like a, a very nice one inch little scrape over the surface. And that allows all of our features to come straight up. They're just they're plain as day. And then the rest is done by hand excavation. So trowels all the way down to dental picks. When you get near remains, it's a very delicate and tedious process at that point. But it allows you to get the most information, um, to preserve everything, and understand the context. USF graduate student Meredith Tice describes the meticulous detail that the teams follow and the importance of getting a clear picture of the remains in their resting state. It's extremely important, especially we'll never see the skeleton in the lab as well as we can see it in the field. So documentation through photography, mapping, um, descriptions are so important, especially when it comes to age estimation. The recovered remains were brought back to the anthropology labs at USF for further testing and analysis. We have a series of methods looking at teeth and skeletal remains to try to assess how old was this individual, their age, in this particular case, that's very important because we have children, but ranging in age from 6 to 18, by knowing the general, you know, are they 6, are they 12, are they 18, we can start to do what we call presumptive identification and narrow down that pool of who we're looking for. The team is continuing to search for additional DNA reference samples to ultimately match the boys with their families.